Now we're at step one of the auditing process where you need to gather information. So this is pretty simple. It's simply said, but it's an actually long process that you're going to have to do. The first thing you're going to have to do is get a roster of all of your active and terminated staff over the last two years. Now, you're probably saying, Stephen, where are you pulling this two from? Well, the government is going to do a two-year look back on the statute of limitations. That's the statute of limitations for wage violations is two years. If there's willful disregard, meaning you did it even though you knew it was wrong, it goes to three years. So if you want to protect yourself, you can go up to three years if you want, especially if you knew that, oh my goodness, I did this even though I wasn't supposed to, you can go three years. Then you're going to gather all the timesheets and paycheck stubs for the last two years for these staff members. So not only do you get your roster for the active and termed, you get all timesheets and paycheck stubs for all those people. And the third thing is you need to get their hourly rates of pay and pay changes over the last two years or three years, depending on how far back you go. So that's auditing step one. 